happy last day of November. I uh, just cut out my private road here, coming home from the bus stop and reflecting on prayer and God's timing. Myself, uh, this morning, I just, oh, a lot of times, well, it's several times through out the last couple days, timing comes in, timing again and again. And when I start to hear these things, over and over there's usually a message for me to get that's coming but time and just seems like I'm late a lot do you guys ever feel like that like oh again sharing the joy sharing peace giving a compliment oh out riding or hiking on the trail it takes me a few minutes and then by the time I think of it, the people are gone. Or I had a few ideas uh, business-wise and charity-wise. And, yeah, not that a person couldn't do it, but I see someone else doing it. And I'm late, and I'm not saying theirs is a bad thing. It's about that, so um, donating to that. But, I, it's, again, it's just... Am I slow, or is there another path God would have me to do? Is it, again, God's time, I am so, I guess impatient, I don't know, temporal, if you will. Um, it seems like if something doesn't happen right away, it frustrates me. Maybe it's because society, but yet, again back in Exodus when they were wandering through the desert you know every miracle and a day later or a week later or again 40 years they wandered around complaining of the same piece of ground over and over God not leading them to the promised land because there's a life lesson but God's timing is perfect and I'm just been reminded that so much through our church, we just started watching a message and of a gal who waited 10 years, 10 years. She didn't have sleep because her daughter wouldn't sleep and was up banging and special needs. And God love her, she did it. And oh, 10 years of sleep deprivation, but God's timing is perfect and the wonder things that he's done through her life in my life and I hope he does through your life and reminded we had study about prayer and I know for me and again I didn't share because I don't know it wasn't really an uncomfort but by that point we were kind of a little late and I didn't want to share and I'm sure the opportunity will come up again I hope but I know for me praying that communication with God for me he's always there and I know, and I've said it time and time again, that if I'm not spending time reading the Bible, my life is out of balance. I just don't get the blessings, the miracles. I, I talk to God a lot. I believe in God. I love God. I love for people to know God and anything I can do to help. But... Yeah, I sometimes lack reading the Bible. Maybe get a message here or there, and I use YouTube a lot. Some of how this started was the blessings from YouTube that were gone. But it doesn't replace the time where I sit down and read the Bible. So I guess that's the thing. And my other thing that I've been struggling with lately is, again, I pray a lot. We had a thing on prayer and I didn't share this, but I pray more personally. I go to a lot of places where people don't like God. Some people are accepting, some people are not. And it's awkward, but you can't be the light if you can't just be an example. So rather than just not go not be there, I choose to pray silently, personally, 
a way, but I am bad sometimes, even about people that are telling me problems to pray with them, praying community again, Bible group or something like that. Cool. And I struggle reaching out to prayer and some great friends that do. Would you mind if I prayed for you? No. And then they pray. <laughs> I pray. For, would you mind if I prayed for you? No. And then I find myself praying for them, but not with them. So since you're here, since YouTube is a start and maybe I'll close it in prayer today. Maybe this is a start to be better. Again, one step. It's all you need is one step. Find something you can do. So today, Father God, I just ask that everybody watching this message, they're listening to it for a reason. And your timing is so perfect, Lord, that I know there's a lot of people going through trouble. Especially through the holidays, Lord. And, and this time we're reminded that you came, that that star that the wise men and the shepherds and they followed. And Lord, you gave your son for us. And I know things are trouble, Lord. And, and I just ask that everybody listening to this, bring their problems to you, Lord, and bring them and spend that time with you. Lord, I ask that you help us to open our hearts, to open our Bible so that we may hear your word and put on the armor of talking to you and being with you and hearing your living word that changes, Lord. It, it means maybe a little something different for all of us. And there's no right way, Lord, and there's no wrong way. Lord, we just, you know our thoughts, you know our transgressions, you know us, Lord. But we just want to know you and we want those who don't know you to know you, Lord, so that they may find your glory, your hope, and your peace and your joy of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. It probably won't be the only video today. Hopefully. I want to try to do some more stuff. Um, If I can have a video camera. Someone videoing. Because I'm tired of the tripod for a bit. So, Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, enjoy the journey. Uh, consider it pure joy. Whenever you face struggles of many kinds, you know the testing of your faith leads, leads to perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work before you're whole and complete, not lacking anything. So, I encourage you, enjoy the journey, happy trails, and we'll see you next time.